Hey everybody, Casey Robinson here, and I want to take you through my design this week. And so, as you know, as an intro to the project, we uh, we've been working on the genetic website, and I'm calling my genetic website uh, Genetic Findings. So I hope you like it. So let's jump right in here. Um, I started off with market research, which ended up paying big dividends in the end because a lot of the ideas that I pulled from my market research uh, actually ended up making it through to my final design. Uh, you'll see that in my sketches when we get to them here, that a lot of these ideas that I came to came from, uh, especially the more clever design ideas, originated from um, a lot of those websites in the, uh, in the, in the research that I did. But in our first round of usability testing, I noticed that there were some important features that were missing from version zero, in my very first usability sketch, or my very first sketch of the website. Um, it was absolutely absolutely crucial that I needed search, and I didn't have that before. So we added our search icon, and then I also noticed it was uh, really common to have a profile page for either subscription-based websites or even just to be able to save your favorite articles and whatnot is very common on the sites I researched to have that, so I wanted to implement that as well. Um, and you'll see that on this page too. These are a few of the more clever ideas that I was able to pull from some of the other websites. This is just a navigation bar, and this is what's called the article banner, and that caused me some problems in the future, but, uh, but it ended up, ended up being a clever solution to navigating the website without really taking up too much real estate, which was nice. And so we were able to condense all of that into two main categories on my homepage, trending and recent, because I realized those are really the two most important things people care about when they're visiting a news website. Um, and so we are, we're ranking them from the top five, six, seven, whatever fits on your page, um, news articles on this side, and then this is going to tell you exactly how old the article it is, and it's going to be ranked in order to the most recent, to oldest. Um, and so we get to our initial digital design, and there are a few problems that I came with came up with this one. There's that article slider that I was talking about before that was giving me problems. People were, were having a really hard time scanning this. And I realized that it's just because I have these big blocks of text right here. There's no way to efficiently scan that. So I mitigated that by adding um, just two to three word headers at the top of those. And if I can show you those right here. And I actually made them even bigger in my final design. Um, the second thing that I added in this transition was um, these lines that go underneath of here. Not only does it add to the color scheme, but it also has a functionality. If you look down here, the different colors of headers and also the numbers going along the sides here. Um, this is a theme that shows that goes throughout the whole website that shows exactly what category of an article it is, whether it's business, technology, disease-related, genetics. Um, you'll know instantly by looking at that. Uh, and then in my last round of usability design, the biggest problem that I had really came in this page. You see that there's a complete disconnect of the, the style of design from this top portion right here to down here. And then especially down here, it just looks really cluttered. There's just these big images demanding your attention and not really a good separation of content. Um, so there were some major design hurdles there for my final design. Um, so I needed to fix that. But I also, people weren't finding the information quick enough, even on the home page. And that's why right here in my final design, it was just a lot of refinement, uh, going from 30% gray to 10% gray, uh, eliminating some of the lines that were unnecessary, uh, making these uh, trending and latest more bold to, to anchor down those lists. So a lot of refinement just to get rid of some of the unnecessary, un unnecessary clutter to allow our users get to content quicker. Um, you'll see that throughout the full website in my final design. Uh, this is the redesign technology page that I showed you earlier. Um, now they match in the type of uh, design style, and it's also been separated a lot better, in my opinion. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into our prototype. So this is my home page, and it's pretty simple, exactly like you would expect. You have your articles, the most important ones to you and a big slider here. But we talked about how crucial this uh, the search bar was. So let's search is anxiety genetic. And we're presented with our search results and 
Um, we have all of our filters, we can sort them, but we can put a date range, and then we're presented with headlines, bylines, and um, descriptions just as you would expect them to be. And let's check out the login page. Uh, so we can sign up, create a profile, or we can just log in with here with all of your usual suspects, all very simple, straightforward. And then next, let's take a look at these uh, subcategories. Business and disease would be very similar, but uh, specifically technology has this layout. Um, again, very scannable up here, and then um, the this is much easier to read, much easier to use with the separation of content. But most importantly, let's take a look at the article because that's what we're going to be spending our time in. And so we have our headline here with a great big uh, image behind it. So you always know where that is. And then our bylines right over here, um, which is in our user testing was easy enough to find. Um, I think the contrast helps with that. But we, I definitely didn't want to detract from the main content here. And so um, we have our article, and there's just nothing to really distract. It's our article. But that's my website. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you next time.